What's happening, Mad Squad? It's Joe, aka Mad Joe C. We have the story trailer for Call of Duty World War II. Let's get it. Sledgehammer kills the game in their graphics. Gentlemen, we're on the verge of the biggest operation of the entire war. All right, fellas. This is our chance to break out of Norman. It won't be easy. Don't you focus on your men, because that's what'll get you through. If we get this convoy across, we're in the heartland. We thought we knew what war would be like. But nothing prepared us for this. There's the Union. Lose the tax. Lose them. They're after Jews. The Union. Not giving up on my platoon. We are cogs in the machine, Joseph. We start going our own way, the whole thing breaks down. When did you forget that? These are men! Our men! When did you forget? Let's take that bridge and find our boy. Gear up! Let's move! You think you got some guts, don't you? This isn't us. Well, look, it's all or nothing. It's all been leading to this. Let's move. Ain't that something, Fritz? <gasps> oh. oh! Wow! Pre-order now and get a weapon unlock and double XP. Wow! You know what I must say about this Call of Duty? And I knew it would be this way too because it's not in the present, it's not in the future. It's in the past. I'm not saying I had a problem with the big crazy set pieces, the big crazy things that happened in Call of Duty games. Like, I was going to give a few examples, like remembering Call of Duty Ghost, how, like, um, you know, the very, in the campaign, the very last mission when they were on the train, and then, you know, um, Logan had to shoot Rourke and shot his brother as well. And then, in Advanced Warfare, on the last mission, how, like, um, uh, they were, like, stuck in the Exos, and, like, he had to, like, come self out of his Exo and, uh, chase down the villain, you know, dangling from the rooftop. You know, there's, it doesn't feel like it's going to have any of those, drum, I guess that's the word I'm, I want to use. Like, it won't have any of those, like, dramatic, dramatic elements, dramatic scenes. Now, I'm not saying I had a problem with that whatsoever. I enjoyed that feel to Call of Duty. Like, I enjoyed those dramatic scenes and stuff. I'm just saying, this game doesn't feel like it's going to have that, because it's in the past... It's not the present, it's not the future. So, it, it's just, it's World War II. It's World War II, okay? What went on in that time era. So, that feels like exactly what we're getting. And I think that's exactly what people wanted for this Call of Duty. So, it was good to me. Let's see. Yup, there is a bio. Gotta become... Biscuit, Joe. Alright. Call of Duty World War II tells the story of Private Ronald Red Daniels, 
a young recruit in the U.S. 1st Infantry Division who experiences combat for the first time on D-Day, one of the most, one of the largest ambitious assaults in history. So we're going to get to see somebody's like very first time in combat on a war zone. This is going to be cool. This is going to be cool. After surviving the beaches of Normandy, Red and his squad will fight their way across Europe, engaging the enemy in iconic battle locations such as the Hertzen, Hurt. There's two dots above the U, so I already know I'm mispronouncing this in some way or form. The Hertzen Forest and the Battle of the Bulge as they make their way into Germany. The journey begins on November 3rd. Two days before I turn 18. This and Thor Ragnarok are both early birthday presents for me. They both come out on the same day. Wow. It looks good to me. Like I said, okay, Advanced Warfare has had the best graphics in any Call of Duty game. I don't care even about games past it. Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare. No, um, Advanced Warfare still holds it for best graphics, but this could top it. But remember, remember the cutscenes in Advanced Warfare and how it, it looked so real. That's what I got from this. It looks so real. You know? Like, it, it, it's like, it looks more real than any other Call of Duty can do it. Besides Advanced Warfare, because that was also made by Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer kills the game in their graphics. They kill the game. If you enjoyed my reaction, let me know what you thought. Links on my social media will be down below in the description box. There are two like buttons. Be sure to hit the button with the thumb pointing up. Share this video to anyone you feel enjoy. Tap the subscribe button and ding on the notification bell if you're new around here to join the Mad Squad on our journey to 10,000 subscribers. My name's Joe, aka Mad Joy C. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Mad out. Mad. Strong. Together.